children welcome to science lesson science lesson 1 unit 1.2 your skeleton class grade 3 time 45 minutes book students book page 4 and 5 workbook page number 3 and 4 your skeleton objectives know that humans and some animals have bony skeletons inside their bodies know that skeletons grow as humans grow support and protect the body my bones children here you can see the bones skull skull protect the brain cranium then eye socket then upper jaw lower jaw neck collar bone shoulder blade breast bone ribs spine spine this is dorsal vertebrae this is lumbar vertebrae hip it is also known as pelvis then tailbone knee cap thigh chin foot ankle foot foot then toe then hand you can see wrist hand finger then here arm arm contain humerus then forearm contains radius and ulna children there are over 206 bones in our body next slide is bones the skeleton is usually made from bone bones are hard very strong light and hollow they are made in layers the more layers there are in a bone the stronger it is bones also have cement between the layers to provide more strength most bones contain a large amount of mineral substance such as calcium and phosphorus these minerals make the bone strong and hard so children next we can come to the definition bones definition of bones is a calcified connective tissue that stores calcium and phosphorus then functions first function support and protection example skull protects the brain second one serves as a lever and helps to muscle attachment which is responsible for body movement third one blood cell formation due to the delicate blood forming bone marrow within its cavities fourth one is mineral storage calcium especially so children these are the definition and functions of bones then cartilage cartilage is a strong flexible connective tissue found in skeletons then we can go through the functions first one is mechanical support bones are the framework for the attachment of muscles and other tissues movement bones enable the body movements by acting as levers and points of attachment for muscle so they pull on the bone when the muscle contracts next support the form the internal framework that support and anchor our organs and let us stand upright so children's main role of bones is support it let us stand upright then protection keeps organs from being damaged like the skull protects the brain movement 
act as leverage points for muscles the next one is storage fat and other minerals are stored in bones blood cell formation it occurs in bone marrow what is a ligament yes ligaments are bundles of connective tissue that connect one and one bone to an adjacent bone then protects internal organs stores and releases fat produces blood cells stores and releases minerals join children next we are going to learn about join what is join join means the area where two bones are attached there are three types of joints fixed semi movable and movable joints which cannot move that means unmovable are called fixed joints joints which can move but not freely are called semi movable joints joints which move freely are called movable joints so children there are three types of join fixed join semi movable joints and movable joints fixed joints means it is unmovable we cannot move the next one semi movable semi movable means which can move but not freely that type is known as semi movable joints last one is movable joints that means which move freely we can go through next slide free first we can go through freely movable joints all the moving parts are held together by ligaments most joints are this type there are six types so children most all the moving parts are held together by ligaments and most joints are this freely movable types there are six types you can see here saddle pivot ball and socket hinge cantiloid gliding so these are the six types the next one types of joints there are three main types of join found in the body first one fibrous or immovable joints the bones at an immovable join cannot move they overlap or interlock and are held together by a tough fiber example the skull second one cartilaginous or slightly movable joints the bones at a slightly movable joint can only move a little they are held together by strong straps called ligaments and are joined by protective pads known as cartilage example the ribs third one is synovial joint or freely movable at a freely movable joint the bones move freely they are also known as synovial joints and are the largest group of joints found in the body example the hips shoulders and knees so children there are three main types of joints found in the body they are fibrous or immovable joint example is skull this type of joints are immovable joints and cannot move then second one is cartilaginous or slightly movable joints uh, that can move but only slightly example the ribs then third one is synovial joint or freely movable joint that means we can move freely example the hips the shoulders and knees then children next one is a smart lab activity Your first question is write how many bones there are in an adult human skeleton. I know children, so you know the answer. Please, you can type the answer. Next one is also smart lab activity. That is true or false question. First question is the place where the two bonds connect is called join. Is it true or false? You have to find out is it true or false next children we can come to the summary of our lesson humans have bony skeletons inside their bodies 
Skeletons are made of different kinds of bonds connected to each other at joints. So children, this is the summary of our lesson. Hope you understood. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day.